So, um, this is the logbook I made. It's a multiple logbook. There's a few here. You've got your call logbook. You can put all your information in there. When you've got a few things in, you can uh, bring one of them down. It'll bring up things, so you can you know, search for things using that. Um, your call sign goes here. Just put anything, well, that might be a real call sign. Let's just put mine in. That's it, that's all you got to do. And you change your coordinates, change all these. Your call logbook. And this QRZ here. Right, and that's that one. And you got your Pi Star. Call sign date, UGC name. Hotspot name, if you've got a hotspot or your location, frequency, your radio, that if you need it, and then you can put the room in, repeat a link or your talk group room or your ASU uh, fusion room, etc. etc. Here's one for Echo Link, here's one for shortwave listeners, UK repeaters calculations. Loads from southwest, southeast, etc., 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 in the UK, obviously. Okay, calculations. There you go, volts, ohms, amps, and all that. And if you want to make an antenna, there you go. So then you've got your wire gauges if you need them, and your band plans for the UK etc 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 that's basically it but this quite handy if you've got a call you want to do all your hf stuff on here say you know whatever you want to do pi star stuff on here right um i shall be back with another video in a second and i will um show you what it's like on my logbook Excuse me. Okay, then. This is my love book. This is my call book. I'll just use this for HF. Oh, sorry, the HF, UHF mainly. I've used this since 2008. I first used it. And uh, that's what I use. You can use it for anything, HF, VHF, UHF, whatever you like. But I'll just use it for that. Because for me... Um, hf stuff i use um ham radio deluxe that's the only reason i use this for uh for the hf us stuff hf rather pi star call sign date blah 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 name dot spot frequency radio could be dmr anything radio is using and the room and uh echo link i've had a few echo links in the past but I don't use it so much now. Some people love it. Shortwave log, I don't use. Well, I've shown you the UK repeater list, as you've seen, but and you've seen the calculations, etc. etc. Right. Now let's go back. Let's find something with a bit of information in. Here we are. Let's say if you want to do a search for something. Um a location maybe. You just select nothing and just click the ones you want. Or we can just search it in here. Let's put in Worcester. And OK. And that'll bring up all your Worcester. And then I'll just go like that. You see? That's the sort of thing you can search for, or dates or whatever. So it's pretty good in that respect. Most of these are Genesis on mine. I know that's all I use. But um, you could be at contacting a real repeater. Using Power Star, you know, Power which uses Power Star or whatever. Um, well, CQ UK open it and all that. So yeah, there you go. That's basically the love book. If nobody knows, you know, who hasn't downloaded it, to have a look. But now you can have a look at it this way. And you can see what it does. I say you can just add your locator, ITU zone, everything in there yourself. But there you go then. I hope you enjoyed it. M six M A L. Thank you very much.